So I just got my first attempt at combining a depth map with a video frame um, to enhance the sense of three-dimensionalness and it worked pretty well so I thought I would show a quick demo here. On the upper left is the video frame in question and the right is the depth map that I drew by hand. So first let's look and see what, what it looks like without a depth map. You see if I pan to left and right or move up and down as a viewer there's really not a lot of change. Um, if I rotate it really doesn't look like a three-dimensional image. It looks like we're panning around inside of an image. So now let's combine the depth map with the video frame. First thing we'll do is just display what the mesh looks like. I haven't optimized the mesh, so it's drawing a lot more triangles than need to be. Um, the frame rate's a little bit slow here, but I expect to get it up you know, several hundred frames a second once it's optimized. Now this is combining the texture map with the, the depth map, and we can see both at the same time. If we're situated at the same angle, approximately the same location as the original camera footage, the illusion of three-dimensionalness looks really good. Again, there's some drawing artifacts in the background um, due to not having an optimized mesh. That will go away. From far angles, left and right, the illusion is destroyed. But most of the time for the head tracking, we'll have the, the head positioned very close to where the original camera was. If you move left and right, the head tracking would pan the image left and right. You can see that now the illusion of three-dimensionalness is much greatly enhanced. So for my setup, this is approximately where the view would be stationed and as you move your head left and right and up and down, um, it will rotate a similar fashion to what I'm doing here with the mouse. And now we've got uh, a demo of one other scene this is a panoramic photo that I also drew a depth map by hand for. You can see as I pan left and right and up and down, the three-dimensional list really pops out. Of course, if you look from wide, wide angles, the, the illusion's broken, but uh, the viewer would never see those. 